Good afternoon, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. I have an uh, article off of End Times Headlines that they got off of uh, the RT Network. Now, I heard it said by, I think, J.D. Farrar, I think, that have we crossed the road of no, the point of no return? Well, let's think about it. I didn't see his uh, preaching sermon on it, but let's think about that for a minute. It's a good question because we have, let me see, they've taken Christ out of everything. Um, they're sacrificing babies to Baal, which is abortion. Um, the homosexual community has basically tried to take over. We have lawlessness. We have abortion, again, once again, in law, full term. Not to mention people have turned their back on Christ. And over the years, it's gotten worse. Then to top it off, up until January 28th, they come up with a peace plan. The United States and Israel come up with a peace plan that says... This is the deal of the century. That's why I named the video, Woe, to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea. Woe. Because this economy is not going to get any better. Not at all. Matter of fact, there is a, uh article... On End Times Headlines, again, that says um, it's going to take years, literally years, for everything to go back to normal. They're talking maybe, maybe 2021, something like that. Years, if that. It's not going to start getting back to normal for 10. They're predicting 10 to 15 years, and this is from J.P. Morgan. There's another article here that says 52% of small businesses expect to be out of business within six months. You see, this little PPP plan that they had, it's not enough. It's not going to be enough to get the businesses started. A lot of these places are going to open at, what, 50% capacity, if that? That's not going to be enough. I have a hairdresser, and these salons here in Ohio, the thing of it is now, they have to have the proper equipment to open up their salons. They have to have the proper protocol to open up their salons. Matter of fact, the people have to wait in their cars in order to get called for their appointment. I doubt seriously if the salon that I go to will open back up. I just doubt it. I know they have to put the optimistic um, feel out there to let people know, hey, we got this. Everything is under control. I said this before. Everything is not under control. Everything is out of control. And it's going to stay out of control until people see that Christ is in total control. Like I said before, he did not cause he did not cause this to happen, but he is allowing it to happen. And once again, that's why my article is woe to the inhabitants of the earth and sea. I got this article as um the government may see immunity passport as a way of reopening societies, but they're a plunge towards totalitarianism. That's what's happening. All of this is happening 
because prophecy is being fulfilled. I'm going to read this to you. The idea of immunity passports is gaining in popularity. Matter of fact, it was mentioned this morning on Fox News. Popular, gaining in popularity among Western governments, but they are fraught with problems from their implementation to their functionality. Above all, they're a grave threat to fundamental freedoms. Of course they are, absolutely. But that's what they want. That's exactly what they want. Ordinary passports may not be much good to many of us for a while with little possibility of foreign travel. But what if you needed a passport to leave your house to go about your daily life? In a world dominated by coronavirus, immunity passports are increasingly being talked about as a possible path out of lockdown. But what exactly would this path entail? Now, I'm going to be honest with you, and I've heard this on the news practically at some point all week. A lot of these places aren't going to open until they have a vaccine. I mentioned that the other day. So we'll see what happens here with that. They're not going to come up with, I mean, they're going to come up with a vaccine, but we won't be here. It says here, the basic premise of an immunity passport is to hasten the reopening of society by allowing those who are immune to COVID-19 to move freely, leaving only those who are not immune subject to restrictions. The passport itself might be a paper certificate such as those that Chile has been issuing, although in Europe and America, it would more likely appear on your smartphone as an app, code, or digital certification. This has been the solution adopted in China. All Chinese people have had to register for a QR code that downloads the app. The app uses traffic light system that sorts people into red, yellow, or green groups based on their health status and COVID-19 risk level. Although this is determined, it's not transparent. I'm going to leave the article to this in the description box. I just wanted to come on and give you Something else to think about. We are this close to getting raptured out of here. Because of everything that is going on. It's not going to be a mystery to those who are watching and waiting for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ to take us out of here. It's not going to be a surprise to us. But it will be to the people who will be remaining here who will lose loved ones. And I'm not talking to this virus. I'm talking to the rapture. Especially those with little children, those people, those parents who are not saved and have little children. Because your child won't be with you. Your baby won't be with you. And some people will say, well, how can you be that cruel? No, I'm not being cruel. It's in the Bible. Go read it. Babies are taken in the rapture. All babies, all children will be taken in the rapture. And the parent would ask, well, will we see them again? Well, that's totally up to you. That's why today is the day of salvation. That way you won't go through that heartache because you were too stubborn to get saved in the first place. So, today you get saved Make the Lord your Savior. Believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. Admit you're a sinner. Believe in him. Call out to him. Simple as that. Then you and your child can be raptured together and be on rapture flight 777. In the meantime, this, like I've been saying every day this week, is just a precursor to what's coming 
in the tribulation period. It's going to be a sad day for a lot of people. Because, like I said, they were too stubborn to get saved today. That's my position here. I am one who will slap you with the truth, but I won't kiss you with a lie. I'm just telling you the truth. Get saved. Jesus, it is grace through faith in Christ alone, period. If all this is going on right now, I mean... When I hear people say, oh, I thought I had more time. I mean, we got plenty of time. How much time do you think God is going to sit down and let all this go on? Not long. Matter of fact, we're seeing it now. The earthquakes have increased. Lawlessness have increased. The government is setting up the new world order as we speak. The Antichrist, I believe, he knows who full well who he is. And in my opinion, it can only be one of two people. And I, I could be wrong, of course. It could be Kushner or Macron. That's just me. We have the false prophet who is the Pope or, like I like to call him, the poop. I mean, seriously, think about this. We don't have long. I said it yesterday. If you're not saved, then you need to hurry up and stop playing pity pat with the Lord and get your life in order. It's not about feelings. We don't go by feelings. Oh, I don't feel saved. You're not it's we don't go by feelings. We go by believing that we are there. Simple as that. There are some days you're not going to feel saved. There are some days you're going to feel like you're on top of the world. And there are some days, especially nowadays, that you feel like you're at the bottom of the barrel. I know how that is. I understand that. I've been there. But like I said, your feelings don't mean anything. It's what you believe. Believing in his death, burial, and resurrection is what will get you in the rapture. Nothing else. Think about that. I'll link the article in the description box. Have a nice day.